Hey everybody, it's October 25th, 2016, and this is Daily Vlog number 178. Uh, it's a Tuesday, and I had my computer club meeting and went and gave blood, so I've got some um, dash cam videos of that uh, I want to show you, so I'll be back uh, as soon as that's over, and uh, we can go through the uh, top news stories of the day. Be back in a few minutes. All right. Hey. Hello, everybody. It's uh, October 25th, 2016. It's Tuesday, and this is daily vlog number 178. Woohoo! On my way to my computer club meeting. And then after that, uh, I'm going to go get blood, and then we'll be back at the house how about that so we're just taking a little road trip here to Cherokee Village and we're gonna go to the computer club meeting hey yeah hope everybody's having a good day today it's as you can see it's pretty sunny uh, a little cool but not too bad for a fall day Motoring on down the highway. So, just got up a little bit ago. I was up late last night doing some things, so working on some videos and whatnot. I made some flyers for the computer club put out and around because we need to get some more members in but I left them on the desk. Oh well. I'll get them. Get them out sometime. Probably tomorrow. Maybe uh, before I go to work. Or Thursday. Either one. One or the other. second and fourth Tuesday of the month. So, that's what we be doing. Sharp County used to be a dry county and Fulton County, but then they passed the ordinance to make it a wet county, so now you can have bars and liquor and all kinds of stuff. The 
before you could only have private clubs if you wanted to have alcohol. But uh, yeah, you got liquor stores and restaurants that sell beer and wine. minutes to spare. Well, it's a tick. It's 81 degrees. Check you all later. Done with the computer club. And now, I'm going to go over and give some blood. It's always good to get blood, help people out. Oh, I didn't fill out my rapid pass.
Bloody, bloody Hey there everybody, just got done giving blood and so as you can see the Red Cross truck here behind me, but uh, so I'm going to be heading back to the house now and uh, we will continue this later on, take care. <laughs> All right, so just got done giving blood uh, as you saw in the picture there from the cell phone little video I shot. So now I'm done. I'm going to be heading home. Maybe we can get a shot of that. All right, I'm going to get a shot of that cross truck. Picture of that, but uh, I can't get through on the back, so can't get that. But this is a church where they have the blood drives. Every couple of months, <coughs> so I'll be eligible again in two months to give another pint of blood. But anyway, we're gonna go home. I'm gonna be edit some videos. I got another video for a friend he needs editing, so <coughs> I'm gonna do that. dark soon.
everybody I'm back and uh, we got the uh, top news stories today uh, first one here is Trump camp shuts down major fundraising for joint effort with RNC the Donald Trump campaign has wound down its major joint fundraising effort with the Republican National Convention the campaign finance chair confirmed to the Washington Post Tuesday meaning that the uh, final stretch of the race with the party apparatus will be will not benefit from the financial flow that typically comes from the top of the ticket well uh, campaigns winding down and won't be long till we see who our next president is next story here is uh, do I I said please don't be drunk oh Okay. That was Cindy in the peanut gallery. If you didn't hear her. She's a peanut. And then the next story here is uh, poll respect for police near all time high. And this is from CNN. America's respect for police has climbed to a near record high according to a new Gallup poll. 
The finding released Monday shows that 76% of adults said they have a great deal of respect for the local police, a 12-point jump from last year, and just one point shy of the all-time Gallup High in 1967. Uh, now, this is kind of surprising to me considering the next story and what I have reported on in the past. Now, the next story here is a single mother fatally shot by police on Munkle Hoot tribal land who was five months pregnant. An investigation is underway into the fatal shooting of a single mother from the Muckles Hoot Indian tribe by Kings County Police in her home on the reservation. She was five months pregnant and was holding a gun at the time of the incident. Renee Davis, 23, had been struggling with depression when Kings County deputies turned up at her home on Friday night. The reservation is located 30 miles southeast of Seattle in Washington State. And then the next story, uh, two dead, three others hurt in shooting at Virginia Business. This is from Roanoke, Virginia. Two people were killed and three others were hurt in an early morning shooting at uh, Freight Car America in Rhode Island, Virginia. At 6.08 a.m., the reports came in about a shooting on the 800 block of Campbell Avenue at Freight Car America. The shooter is one of the two dead. I uh, don't know what to say about that. People are just getting crazy these days. They go out and shoot up their workplace and shoot up other places and shoot up people. I don't know. People are getting crazier by the day. What? I said all the other kids with the pumped up kicks. Ah, okay. Better run, better run. And then our last story here, uh, Google's new Jamboard is a digital whiteboard with a 4K display. Google on Tuesday unveiled Jamboard, a digital whiteboard designed for enterprise customers. The board comes with two stylus pens and a digital eraser that enables you to write and erase just like on a traditional whiteboard. And that was from Google.com, that uh, article. And if you want to read any of these articles in your entirety, I'm going to put the uh, links in the description below so you can go to those and read them at your leisure. And uh, that's it for today. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, links down below, and please check out my websites, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org, links up at the top, and check out my multimedia sites, G+, Facebook, and Twitter, and if you missed yesterday's video, just click on the image to the left, and until tomorrow, everybody, take care, bye-bye.